What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. I have got an Atlas trade calculator for you which I have made on Google Docs. I was playing around Google Docs and I thought, oh this would be handy. So I went ahead and done it and uh, pretty happy with it. I think it will be helpful, it's definitely helpful for me because I am absolutely crap at maths. So what is the calculator for? Well, as you can see, I am at our market in B6. I know it's not massive, but this does us just fine. And um, yeah, I enjoy having it and you know, filling up the, sto the stores and stuff like that. And as you can see, we've got resources for sale. And one thing I always hate is feeling like I've either overcharged or undercut, um, as in, I don't want to um, undercut ourselves and you know what's worth to us uh, and give it too cheap but at the same time I don't want it to be extortionate um, I want a kind of good balance but it all depends who you speak to on what things are worth so you do need to bear that in mind but the calculator will help you when you decide what your resources are worth to you it will give you the calculations for what a stacks worth, for example and it's a good way of keeping track of your stock and also anything else you might want to sell. If you've got some blueprints you want to sell, you can um, you know, save them on the same spreadsheet for um, yeah, future reference. So that's what we're doing. Thought to start the video in the market because it makes sense, but let's jump over to the Google Docs Atlas Trade Calculator. So here we go guys, the Atlas Trade Calculator. The link for this will be on a Discord, Moshman's Tavern, link in the description below to that. Go on there, scroll down, and on the Atlas section you will see the Atlas Trade Calculator page. And in there you will find this as well as some uh, screenshots with some um, you know, guidance on how this works if you need to reference it back. But it's pretty straightforward, so over on the right we've got two other calculators we'll get to in a moment. One's units per gold, one's haulage. I'll talk about what they do and why they're there. Um, and on this side, obviously, we've got the main trade calculator. So up here on in black and yellow, we've got the um, main base resources. And then you've got the quantity, units per gold, and total gold in the uh, columns next to it. The total gold has got this like greeny background. Um, that is got auto calculation on it so whenever you change anything in the quantity or units per gold the corresponding um, box next to it will auto calculate so for example with this wood one if you know we keep that at 500 and we but we decide um, we only want to do seven bits of wood for people's one gold this will when we press enter this section here it says 50 will automatically change to 71 gold nothing else has changed just the one next to wood um so yeah super super handy if i change this back to 10 that will go back to what it was to 50. now obviously some things like that are really simple like you know 500 um wood for 50 gold means you're getting 10 gold uh, 10 gold you're getting 10 units per gold um, so that's quite straightforward sometimes it might not be so simple and if you're an idiot like me and you're not very good at maths um, it's it's too much effort for me to sit down and think about these things this is just nice and easy I can keep track of what we're trading things for this is all just a template right now so you can kind of just ignore most of the prices on there and um, I've just put these in as like templates you can adjust these as you want so if you want to charge more for a particular thing you just change the units per gold and it will calculate the total gold price for your stacks or you might not want to sell a stack of a thousand facts you might want to sell stacks of 500 so you can change the quantity and keep the units per gold and it will tell you the gold price for the different stack size um, the other cool thing you can do um i'll just quickly down here we've got specials so up here's the base resources down here's a section for specials um so you, you wouldn't really or shouldn't need to edit these items here because they are the base items but in the specials you might want a particular type of thatch for example like we sell twigs for more than what we sell our normal thatch for 
so we've got that in the special section because it's a different price to the base um, product so yeah it, it's basically for that you can add other things to here the other cool thing you could do with this if you wanted to um, although you might not need to uh, calculate the prices you could add your shop stock you could have your mythical armor pieces for example i don't know you could have like you know, say you've got a mythical plate chest piece you could put that in the items there and then you could just obviously set the quantity as one and then just put um, the price next to it so that later on if you've sold that item and you've got another one that's similar and you want to sell it for the price you sold the last one for you could you've got a record of what you've traded things for previously i think that makes sense um <laughs> point being it'll be handy reference as well as having the auto calculations so the calculators on the the right hand side units per gold upg this is for me because i am an absolute idiot and even the basic things i sometimes struggle with when it comes to maths i'm a lorry driver and i play games i'm not saying that's an excuse for being stupid but i'm an idiot i don't know what else to tell you i am crap at maths i'm not gonna lie to you so this is for me but this might be helpful for other people as well um, but you might not want to break down a specific, um, you know, item that you're selling. You might see something in someone else's store and wondering what you're getting for your gold. So there you can see we've got um, seven and seven hundred. My God, <laughs> nine hundred and seventy-five gold for a thousand units means that we're getting um, one point zero two items per gold in this calculation so let's change this let's say for we're, we're getting a stack of metal it's 500 units you know because that's the stack let's change that to 0 0.5 and someone is selling that at uh i don't know let's say 675 why not so for 675 gold you're gonna buy 500 units of a particular thing and you're gonna be getting 0 0.7 um units per gold so right okay well we think that's actually a fair price and we want to update our calculator so we will go to our metal section you can see their metal 500 units and we want to sell that at 0 0.7 so a stack of 500 is going to be 714 because i didn't put in the full number obviously if we put the full um actual amount in there if we do this there you go that's changed to 675 like that but i was just round it down so let's just go 0 0.7 714 gold so there you go it's kind of cool um it's super helpful for me at least who is an idiot let me just change this back to three because it's normally what we do um seeing so yeah it's gone 166 gold for a stack of 500 metal which means you're getting three bits of metal for your one gold um but there you go guys hope that's helpful for you oh i nearly forgot the haulage calculator this is really simple and it's just a quick way to work out how much you want to charge someone for haulage so some people do just do haulage that is their thing they just go and collect something from one place and deliver it to somewhere else for someone uh, but you might also want to deliver a bunch of resources and you want to put a delivery charge on the top of it because that is a thing in Atlas, believe it or not, or at least it is in the trading community. And um, yeah, it's it's a handy calculator. So there you can see seven grids, 150 gold per grid is 1,050 gold. Um, from what I'd found last season, at least, the going price was 250 gold and I think that's been what I've been quoted from other people this season. So let's just say seven grids at 250 gold is 1.7K. So there you go. Nice and simple. Might be really simple to a lot of people, but like I said, I'm crap at maths and this is genuinely really helpful for me, as well as being able to keep track of what we're selling things for, what we will be selling things for once I've updated this price list. Um, yeah, it's a quick and easy way to calculate the price of things, find out what not necessarily what you're selling for but with the units per gold you can work out what someone's selling you like i said you might see a stack of something you think bloody hell that's expensive what are we getting and then you know if they was charging 675 gold for 500 of a particular thing then you know you're getting 0.74 um 
units per gold. Um, so you can go over, oh yeah, that's, that's a good price, or that guy's dreaming. Whatever, it's handy for that kind of thing. And obviously, like I said, we've got the haulage there. If you want to add haulage onto deliveries, or if you want to do haulage stuff for people, you've got a little calculator in which you can decide to charge people. Again, you can change that. Like you see, you can change the price per grid. If you want to charge less for um, traveling per grid or more, you can change that and the gold price will change. And again, all of this is completely customizable. And um, yeah, as long as you don't change the calculation for this um, column D there for the total gold price there that will be completely customizable and always give you the total gold price I hope that's helpful I hope that makes sense if you've got any questions let me know down below if you've got any pointers for this let me know if you've got anything you think I should add to this um, you know then let me know down below Give it a thumbs up guys if you enjoyed the video but also if you think this is helpful for people even if it's not necessarily something you'd use because you're a maths genius if you know a few idiots like me or my friends then you know give it a thumbs up it, you know it'll hopefully be helpful for people and if you did find it helpful guys and you enjoyed the video all that good stuff then hit the subscribe button ring the little bell for weekly videos and live streams i do do live streams a lot of atlas at the moment and we'll be doing more live streams as we go because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. And if you'd rather watch live streams on Twitch, follow me on Twitch, Moshman Gaming on there. Give me a follow. And um, yeah, I'll be doing the multi streams from YouTube to Twitch. And occasionally I'm going to start doing some Twitch only live streams for games that aren't on my YouTube channel. So um, yeah, go check that stuff out. Again, hope it's helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. <laughs>